From the art of old Hawaii, we now turn to an instrument brought to old Hawaii. Since 1843, the multiple sonorous tones of the pipe organ have been heard throughout the island churches. The pipe organ of the Kauaihau Church is played by their resident organist, Bari Nalawai. Remember those hands. We'll return to them later. Let's now go to the Hawaii Lutheran Church to find out how pipe organs produce their incomparable sound. Playing this hymn at the Hawaii Lutheran Church is resident organist Catherine Crozier. She performs on a Von Beckerath pipe organ, which is housed in an oak case 24 feet in height. The Von Beckerath pipe organ has a tracker style of keyboard action, one that has been around for over 700 years. The tracker keyboard mechanically controls the levers and aluminum rods which pull open the valves under the pipes. Rushing air escapes into the pipe column where it resonates and produces a sound. The larger the pipe, the deeper the sound. By pushing several levers at once, a grand sound is produced. The Kawaiahau Church contains a pipe organ whose keyboard operates with an electric action, or what's commonly called electro-pneumatic action. Richard Hager, who has been manufacturing and servicing pipe organs for over 15 years, will explain how this process works. The tracker organ, purely a mechanical instrument, where the key is depressed and through a series of levers you open the valve under the pipe. Here at the Kauaihau Church, we have a grand example of an electro-pneumatic pipe organ. Very large instrument. One of the advantages of an electro-pneumatic pipe organ is that you have the ability to remote the key action from the pipe chambers. The builders can build very large instruments in this way, and you can control the operations with a touch of a finger. Pressing the key down in the organ allows a relay to operate, and this relay will open many valves in the organ, allowing air to go into the pipes. In this particular instrument, we have a large three-chambered section in the front of the church and another chamber in the rear of the church. The organ is placed in a situation like this in order to separate sections of the organ and have expression on two of the divisions, allowing the change in volume to take place at the organist's command. You might want to compare the electro-pneumatic organ to that of an electric typewriter and the mechanical action organ to that of an old manual typewriter. The larger the electromatic organ became, it didn't affect the touch of the keyboards. Whereas in that of a tracker, in very large trackers, it became very difficult to press keys down. You might want to come with me on a trip into the organ chambers and see exactly what the pipes look like and how they are tuned.
Here we have just one section of this large pipe organ with its many pipes, some of which are so long that they won't fit in the ceiling, so we've had to bend them over. This doesn't affect their tonal quality at all. This is a recorder, It's probably one of the older instruments known to man. We probably played them when we were in school. This has the same basic principle of air being blown into a resonating tube. It, you can produce various pitches by opening or closing these valves. An example of an organ pipe This pipe is a basic form with a mouth where the sound is produced and at the opposite end of where you blow into it, a tuning device. This is the way all pipes operate. This is a resonating air column as well, but it only has one opening in it as compared with the recorder. Recorder producing many tones at once. The organ pipe only producing one sound. The various shapes and sizes of the pipes from tapered, stoppered, different lengths, different diameters produce the various pitches throughout this large instrument various colors that you find in the stops of the organ. Another application we have in the pipe organ are the shutters. These are electronomatic devices that can be controlled from the organ console, being opened and closed, allowing various degrees of volume to escape into the room. These shutters can then control the overall effect that you get by shading the tone qualities of the organ.